sexual assault on the campus. The creation is part of their final year project and they're here now in studio with me to tell us more about uh, the main objective behind this app. Good afternoon to you guys. Thank you so much indeed for coming through. Mwako Munyimandi and Refilo Semenya. Welcome to SA Today. Thank you for having us. Please. Now, no, it's, I mean, it's obvious that engineers are known to be the masterminds behind innovative ideas and, you know, solving the problems that we have as a society. This idea, yeah. what, 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 did, what, what was it motivated by? Um, it was about the recent sexual assaults on, across the country in, in, at universities. Mm. And then we've also realized that most sexual assault survivors, they're like afraid to come out because of maybe being judged by the society. So we find that, okay, with this app, maybe those people who are afraid to come out, they can actually download the app and then start making, I mean, writing an incident report mm -hmm. instead of going to police station or gender equity office at our campus. All right, first things first. Yeah. Tell us more about the app. Uh, uh, how does it work? Okay, after the incident, the user will download the app. Then from the app, you log in. I mean, you register. After registering, you log in. Then after logging, you're going to go to the home page. Then that's where you're gonna report. You describe the information about the perpetrator and the incident. Then from there, the app is gonna take your information. It's gonna save it in, into the database and compare it with the available list of perpetrators. Mm. If the perpetrator is a repeat offender, the, uh, the app is gonna report and take your information automatically to gender equity office. We've been working with gender equity office at VETS. Then if the person is the first time offender, it gives you an option to either report or report late. All right, but it also provides for victims to remain anonymous. So how yeah. does that work? Okay, um, like when register, after downloading the app, when we register, the only thing that we take from it is just your phone number and then from there it's just password. So gender equity office, they'll just get your phone number. They don't know who you are. So when they reach out to you, it's up to you to decide if you, you want to remain anonymous or not. And then if you decide to remain anonymous, you can just get like counseling over the phone instead of going to their offices. Yeah, because I wanted to understand as to if this information or the app is connected to the university's database, for yeah. example, mm. what does the university do with that information? So it stores the information, yeah. but the university will also be able to provide counseling to the affected victims. Yeah, yeah. So they'll just contact you, provide counseling, and then maybe get in touch with the perpetrator. And then if you, if you want to take the, if, if maybe you would like them to take their case further, they can even involve the police or maybe um, end, end up expelling the perpetrator from the campus as well. All right. So is the app in full operational? Is it operational? Uh, currently the app is ready to work, but still we still have to take it to gender equity office formally so that the app can be launched to the community, to VETS community. Okay, so it's just going to be for the students at VETS University. Yeah, yes. yeah. But this is a beautiful app, isn't it? It can actually help other universities as well because the schedule of sexual violence mm. with students, it's yeah. all over the country, not just here at VETS. Yeah, yeah. so we, we just wanted to start it small and see how it works. And then if maybe um, people find it like more useful, that's when maybe we can um, extend the app maybe to other varsities and stuff, yeah. But then for now, it's just for VETS. All right, but yeah. it will be implemented only next year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what's still, what's, why, why okay, it be has next been day? implemented, but okay. then it will start working next year. Next year. So yeah. Yeah. students will be able to access it on their phone. They will have to download the app, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, and interestingly, the name, Quasi. Why have you guys decided to name the app Quasi? Okay, initially, we're, the, we're not the one who came up with the name, so it was our professor. Okay. She, yeah, because she's, the, she's our supervisor, Stel Trengov. So she's the one who came up with the name, and then we were like, okay, that's like an interesting name because everyone, mo everyone is like familiar with crazy. They know about what ha they know about the story of crazy. So we're like, okay, if we introduce this, if we name this app after crazy, like most people will be able to relate. And then yeah, so that's how they will just get to that's know about the app. Came. Yeah, and mm. I think what is even more interesting and encouraging about this app Mwako, is the fact that it was invented by young men, yourselves, of course, mm -hmm. and it it certainly shows the other side of men that not all men are bad mm. after all. So mm -hmm. you guys are also concerned, of course, with the yeah. high rate of um, gender-based okay. violence on women. Yeah, we decided to choose this project because uh, other men will also realize that. Uh, there are men who are also interested in stopping these things like social, uh, I mean, sexual violence, sexual assault, and everything. And also, we want to show women that not all men are 
doing bad things. Mm. There are also men out there who care about this. Yeah, area. certainly. So you guys are final year engineering students. What do we expect next from you after this invention? <laughs> <laughs> things to come, I suppose, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll just uh, you ju you'll just have to wait and see. But then, yeah, like big things. This are is just to the come. beginning of yeah. bigger things, I suppose. Yeah. 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 Yes. All right. I suppose we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for coming through, and uh, all the best with your studies. Are you guys going for your honors degrees after this? Uh, we're thinking of going to workplace and get the feel of how it is to apply our yeah. engineering skills. Then later, if we find our interest, that's when we will go for. Yeah. Honors. No, you've got to stars, go out yeah. and work. Black Tex is waiting for you guys. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> through. Okay, thanks. Okay, All thank right, you. well, there you have it. Many thanks to Ngwago Munyamadi and Refilo Simenyo. Of course, they are uh, final year students at uh, University of, uh, Vets University, right, of course, and they've in, uh, invented this crazy app that's aimed at uh, reducing the levels of gender-based violence and sexual harassment at uh, campuses. All right, uh, it's time now for your sports.